what are you having for breakfast this morning? Egg, cereal, plastic? Yeah, that's actually right. There could be plastic in what you're eating. Jennifer Krause joins us from her kitchen with more for us this morning. So, I mean, Jen, even saying this, I mean, it sounds disturbing. It's gross, isn't it? Now, no one is intentionally eating plastic, but it turns out there are plastic chemicals in a lot of the foods we eat. So you may be wondering then, well, how'd they get there? And more importantly, how do you avoid them? Take a trip through the grocery store or stop at a fast food restaurant. From packaged produce to meat, canned foods to fast food, you name it, it probably contains some form of a chemical used to make plastic. We tested a wide variety of packaged foods, 85 to be exact. Lauren Friedman is a science journalist with Consumer Reports. We were looking primarily for chemicals called phthalates, as well as bisphenols such as BPA. And we found them at levels that our scientists say are not okay. Even at low levels, studies suggest these chemicals can contribute to an increased risk of diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, and certain cancers. But eliminating these chemicals from our diet is hard, if not impossible. The problem is it's not just about avoiding food that is wrapped in plastic. There are so many ways these chemicals can get into our food. Take the conveyor belts and the food handling gloves used during food processing, even from contaminated water and soil. So what can you do to at least try to minimize chemical exposure? First, try to avoid plastic food storage containers. If you do use them, don't microwave in them. Heat can increase chemical leaching into your food, so it's a good idea to avoid storing hot food in plastic containers. Stay away from fast foods, which were found to have some of the highest levels of plasticizers like phthalates in Consumer Reports tests. One reason fast foods may have such high levels is that they're often prepared by people wearing vinyl gloves, which are known to be extremely high in these chemicals. Try to eat fresh, minimally processed foods like unpackaged fruits and vegetables, which have fewer opportunities to touch things with phthalates. Stick with wood, stainless steel, and silicone kitchen tools, and swap out plastic water bottles for bottles made out of glass or steel. And you probably also want to avoid or at least try to limit foods with high fat content as research has shown that there are higher levels of these phthalates in foods with higher fat content.